Today, I want to take a closer look at NVIDIA and some recent updates the company has seen in the past few days or so. I want to say most of the topics that we're going to be talking about seem to be more on the bullish side and just continue to show the huge strength and demand this AI market is kind of pushing towards NVIDIA's products at the moment. But before we go any further, I do want to say happy 4th of July here in the United States. Happy Independence Day. Hopefully, everybody is enjoying the time with the family and hopefully this is a quick video to kind of just pass by the time. So let's take a closer look in today's episode. So, I mean, if you are familiar with this channel, you guys know NVIDIA is my number one stock. I enjoy talking about this company nonstop. Uh, and obviously with the overall trend right now, I'm trying to keep up to date to see how the demand for its products are doing, especially as this company has run up over, has run up almost 200% year to date thanks to this AI craze. And I have done previous videos where I talk about its valuations and kind of forward PE ratio and what are what investors are really kind of looking into today i want to kind of just bring some updated news first we do have this report that tsmc does see a robust ai chips orders from nvidia broadcom and am3 through 2024 so this big so overall this is good news for in my opinion tsmc but overall the semiconductor market it does seem like the overall ai demand is not only just for nvidia we're also seeing it in broadcom and obviously on amd a company i've been talking about uh, my number two position but i do believe a lot of investors are maybe underestimating AMD and how strong it could be in its AI chips. So overall, great news for TSMC, and we continue to see this huge demand in AI chips right now. I thought that was pretty interesting, a little bit more on the bullish side, in my opinion. Now, this one is pretty interesting. So uh, a, a few days ago, there was a uh, Ampere Events, and Ampere is this uh, semiconductor company that creates processors. The processors they create are more on ARM base. Um, they are a private company, so they're not public but the ceo of oracle and oracle is this huge cloud server provider right i feel when we think of cloud server providers we think of amazon we think of google we think of microsoft but oracle is right behind there right it, it's definitely kind of improving its solutions its cloud and base and the ceo mentioned during this ampere event that hey this year oracle will buy gpus and cpus from three companies they will buy gpus from nvidia and they are buying billions of dollars of those so overall we can see that oracle itself is going to be a huge buyer of nvidia gpus we can only estimate how big of a buyers might be some of the other cloud server providers as well he also mentions that they will spend three times that on cpus and amp from ampere and amd and they still spend uh, and they will still spend more money on conventional compute so conventional compute is not your acceleration compute acceleration compute tends to be things accelerated through gpus it does seem like oracle right now is really building up just their overall conventional ser servers which tend to be more mainly cpu accelerated and the company that's going to benefit from here is ampere and amd pretty interesting we don't hear much about intel here but for those familiar nvidia partnered up with intel to when creating their h100 um, dgx pods uh, it does include an intel cpu within that system so if they are buying um, nvidia's infrastructure they're also going to be buying it seems intel G cpus even if they don't really want to but overall we can see that hey the overall market right now even big cloud server providers are still spending billions and billions on dollars on both gpus and cpus so very bullish for amd and nvidia i do want to say mp um, oracle in my opinion is a strong company it's one that i kept an eye out and one that i've always talked about but never really pulled the trigger on maybe i can do a video on it later but oracle like i mentioned they're really trying to become a huge cloud server provider out there we can see in october of 2022 they partner up with nvidia to bring um, major GPU extension. I do believe here they also brought um, they brought the A100, the H100s, one of the earlier ones. They also kind of partnered up with NVIDIA to bring their GPU uh, here in March of 2023. They were one of the first companies to run DGX Cloud, which is another NVIDIA kind of solution. Where our, and again, we continue to see Oracle invest in generative AI and other AI solutions as well. Um, so overall, I want to say Oracle is definitely looking pretty interesting in the kind of data center market 
market and the cloud server provider market and definitely one investor should keep an eye out again we can see this is bullish for both um for overall the semiconductor market especially for amd and nvidia where this company is expected to spend billions and billions of dollars before we go on to the next topic though um if you guys are enjoying the episode so far make sure to hit the thumbs up make sure to hit the subscribe button i'm trying to hit 30,000 by the end of the year so i'm hoping that's achievable hopefully you guys can help me out also if you can let me know in the comments below are you bullish on nvidia and amd or do you only prefer one over the other i want to thank the motley fool for sponsoring this video and check out fool.com slash jose for the 10 best stocks to buy now with that link you get a promotional offer for the subscription service now let's continue with today's episode so the next article I'm going to take a closer look at came out from NVIDIA's blog. They did have, this one came out June 27. NVIDIA H100 GPUs set a standard for generative AI in debut ML Perform benchmark. So ML Perf is this huge benchmark that's kind of standard for machine learning task. Uh, and in this kind of performance, it, leading users and industry standard benchmarks agree that NVIDIA H100 Tensor Core GPUs deliver the best AI performance, especially on the large language models powering generative AI. H100 GPUs set a new record on all eight tests in the latest ML Perf training benchmarks released today, excelling on new ML Perf tests for generative AI. That excellence is delivered both per accelerator and at scale in massive servers. So that's something that's very important. And I kind of talked about it in my previous episode where I compare AMD and NVIDIA. So obviously it is important to have strong single hardware performance so one gpu should perform really well but what's also very important is to have multiple multiple gpus thousands and thousands of gpus being able to communicate very effectively and kind of have that performance in that massive servers also be strong in this article they do talk about uh, two companies i want to say right now they are private companies but if they ever think of going ipo or someone continues to invest in them i know oracle is investing in in one of them um and nvidia is invested in another infection ai um, and core weave are two startup companies that are building the largest computing clusters in the world using nvidia gpus uh, so right now we are seeing a lot of startup companies especially in this kind of supercomputer market and i personally wouldn't be shocked if we maybe start to see some ipos in smaller companies and smaller startups in the upcoming year uh, so another recent update we did see this on july 3rd Inflection, one of the startups I was just talking about, built a supercomputer with 22,000 NVIDIA H100 GPUs. I think that is insane how many GPUs are going out there, how many GPUs NVIDIA is making. Remember, this is just one customer, right? Just one customer. This is a startup that is invested, um, NVIDIA has invested into, um, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter. NVIDIA just probably puts them on top of the line, but they probably still pay the, the price, uh, the actual price to get these gpus so i think it's insane again again this is just a startup imagine how many startups are out there imagine how many big cloud server providers and how many companies are out there rushing orders to get these kinds of demand so overall i want to say over, we're still seeing this huge demand of ai market and nvidia gpus um, obviously it does seem like supply is the main issue it's not demand and for that reason i still remain bullish on nvidia Personally, with a market cap of $1 trillion, though, I do believe this is a company that can definitely see a correction, but I'm personally not selling any shares. I'm also not buying any shares at these moments. Um, I also do believe that AMD is definitely one that can benefit from being second place in this in this market. Uh, Intel is another one that's really doing really well with accelerators. Maybe I'll do a video on that later. Um, but I do believe right now the market is definitely sleeping on AMD. And I don't know, maybe they might be, even I might be sleeping on Intel. The more I talk about it, the more bullish I get within that company. But that be another video let me know what you guys think take care have a good day and see you next time